Two years ago, I moved into a home with about 180 square metres of polished concrete floors. I'd never tried out a robot vac before, but I thought this would be a really good test for one. I'll share all the things that I loved about this machine, as well as some of the things that didn't work too well. And a trick to get your robot adapted to a new habitat. I'll also show you the amazing integration into Home Assistant, which even replicates the live map to track your robot. The setup process is very simple. You just scan the QR code on the machine and connect it to your Wi-Fi. The T9 uses LiDAR for navigation as well as AI-based lasers to recognize objects on the floor. The navigation has been pretty good and it's just fascinating to watch the machine moving around by itself. It starts going around the edges of the room and then fills the rest in using straight lines. The main issue I found was that it would not climb up onto the carpet of my bedrooms. This is reasonably high. It's probably a centimetre higher than the hard flooring, but this was really frustrating. I had to manually place it in these rooms to get it to clean them. Secondly, it's supposed to avoid cables, but I still found that it has wound up some of the thinner cables, like smartphone cables. A smaller issue is that it tries to climb over the rail at the bottom of my table, but it seems to be able to get itself free after some time. The 3000 Pascal suction power works really great and it automatically goes into high power suction mode when it detects a carpet. The auto empty station is also really good, unless you have pets that share a lot of hair, which can then get stuck in the box as they're trying to suck it out. The mop works really well, vibrating at a really high frequency and it's a must have feature if you have hard flooring. I'm sure that the rotating mops on some of the latest machines are even better, but they do come at quite a price. The air freshener is pretty useless and you can hardly even smell the fragrance, so I haven't bothered to replace it. Over time, the robot advises that you need certain parts to be replaced. The mopping pads are supposed to be single use, but they can be used at least three or four times in my opinion. I ordered a set of replacement parts from AliExpress, some of which were great and others which didn't really fit. I'll leave a description in the, in the notes below. Replacement mopping pads were really cheap and worked fine. Side brushes, rollers and even the plate that holds the roller in were great. Only reason I had to replace that was after the dog chewed it. Replacement filters from AliExpress did not fit, so I had to order this from a local supplier. The battery is honestly working great, even after two years hard use. When moving homes, I reset my unit using the button under the lid and deleted the maps. However, the robot went crazy and wouldn't even navigate properly at all, and I was almost ready to throw it away, until I eventually found out that I needed to hard reboot it by holding the reset button down for at least 8 seconds to clear the memory. And after this, it worked great. The there are two options available for integrating the Ecovax D-Bot into Home Assistant. You can use the generic Home Assistant integration, which I have tried before and it does work. But I prefer using the Hacks version because this is offering a lot more functionality. So if we click over here and we have a look at what it offers us, First of all, we can actually control the robot from here or from automations. So you can see here the status at the moment is docked. We can press start the vacuum, pause it, stop it, or return it to base. We can also adjust the fan speed. So you can select between quiet or a faster fan speed. If we go back over here, this has got our actual map. Now, this does seem to go a little bit awry at some times. I'm not quite sure why, but for me, this is a bit of a gimmick anyway. Having a look on the right-hand side here, we've got our battery level. We've got our level of our brush filter and side brush. So that'll just decrease for every amount of time that you've used it. And once it's finished, you can go and you can press the button when you replace it so it can start recording from scratch again. We can also adjust the amount of water that is dispensed. So that would depend on what size room with hard flooring you actually are mopping so that it can dispense the correct amount of water so that you don't run out of water 
halfway through the clean. Overall, I can recommend this robot as a cheaper option than the latest machines. I'll put a link in the description below. Have a great week and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to learn more about Home Assistant.